This video is powered by Canada Dry. What is going on YouTube? It's me Andrew here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to record um, using DX PC gameplay using DX Tori and the Lagarth um, codec. So if you want to see the settings that I use for this video, go ahead and click the annotation on the screen, which is about right now. Or yeah, click on the annotation, go watch that video, and then come back to this one to learn how to use this codec with it. So um, at the end of the video, I'll have a I'll also have an annotation on the screen right now. Um, that takes you to pretty much the end results so you guys can compare it and see which mode you want to use but that's later on so you're gonna need um, DX Tori for this you can go ahead and open up DX Tori I'm gonna go open it up right now okay let's wait for it to open there we go it should pop up right now okay so under DX Tori you guys need to tell I'm using DX Tori 2.0 um, 119 um, you go ahead click on this movie tab and um, you can uncheck this if you want uh, and then you can go right here where it says codec click on it and then change it to the Lagarth lossless codec but before you can even do this you have to go to this website this website right here likes and hit download installer you download the installer run it like a regular program it will install it and then under here okay so under this little screen I'll show you guys how to get there so you change it to the Lagarth codec and then you click on show configuration dialog alright so you're gonna get here make sure you check and use multi-threaded if you have a, a multi-core CPU I'm pretty sure everybody from now on in this day and age has a multi-core CPU I mean if you're running a single core with a single thread that's all I have to say about that. Um, so the mode that I do recommend using is YV112. Now there are other modes that you can use. The second best mode will be um, RB, RGBA, and then it's YUY2, and then it is RGB, which is the worst, worst quality. I don't know why it's default, but so far from my testing, it is the worst quality. Um, it might depend on the game that you're playing, but then again, um, the best thing for you to do is test out each um, each mode. But like I said, take my word for it. Uh, YV112 is the best, and um, you can go ahead and check use multi-threading. Okay, so now here, um, where here is this prevent ensemble from video? Let me just go ahead and read it out. So this will force the codec to decode video as this as the same color space it is stored. Um, as internally, this can improve performance. Oops, let me go back on performance and prevent um, rounding errors, but may not be compatible with certain programs. So if you check that and um, you record your video, you might open up uh, Vegas, but Vegas might not read the video properly. So you guys can go ahead. And now null frames is pretty interesting, and I like the feature because I haven't used it yet. But you can go ahead and use it. Um, you might get an error sometimes when like you're talking and instead of showing where the right frame will show like the previous frame that's because null frames what it does is that um, null means nothing so say you're playing minecraft or call of duty and you're staying still and there isn't much happening instead of just continuously recording right so if you're like at a, at a place where you're just looking at a wall and there's no movement whatsoever instead of continuously recording the game and taking different frames every single time um, what it does is that it uses the previous frame so let's say this is frame number one you're, what you're looking at right now um, instead of actually taking every single screenshot or shot of every, this time this iPod it will just take me like that holding like this and um, just use it I don't know if I can't explain it properly Okay, how do I explain this? How do I explain this? How do I explain this? Okay, let me just open up a random picture. Well, okay, I'll just go ahead and read it. I'll read it. So it says, when a frame is identical to the preceding frame, it can be replaced with a null frame. This indicates that the program is reading the video. The program reading the video should simply reuse the previous frame. Null frames can increase impression. Um, there may be there may be a few editing programs that do not handle them well. Disable null frames if you do if you notice the wrong frame being displayed during still sections of the video. So, like I said, it will increase your um, compression and um, disable it if you notice anything wrong with it. But yeah, I suck at explaining stuff. 
<laughs> that is about it, but I do recommend using um, YV112 and you get it from the website there. Click OK. Um, over here, you guys can use the uh, file output, put on a AVI. This direct show output, what it does is that it um, outputs it to a capture device. So let's say you are you're using a, a capture device. Uh, it will send the video that you're recording to a capture device. Um, but that's not what the video is about. Then the frame rate, you can go ahead and change to 30. That's what I use. Um, 120 will be, um, let's say, if, you, if you're getting over one, 200 frames per second, 120, but there's no point if, you, if you're going to upload this to YouTube, um, record at 30 frames. And uh, what else? Everything else, just leave it at default. Record at 1280 by 720, but you can record at um, 1920 or your native resolution if you want. Just click 100%. But 1280 by 720 is pretty much the standard right now. Um, so yeah, that is it. Later, guys.